In this video, we're going to look at node editing. Node editing is a very powerful function within ArtCam Express that allows you to manipulate and change the configuration of uh, vectors. Uh, you'll, if you look over here on the left, you'll see that the node editing tool is over here just below the select tool. So I'm going to start off with this uh, rectangle that I've created. And I'm going to click on the node editing tool. And you'll notice as I come to my screen, the power of the node editing tool is really in the right mouse click. The right mouse click actually gives you um, all sorts of uh, options that you can take advantage of. For example, you'll see uh, when I clicked on node editing, you'll see at these four corners that's created a node. I'll zoom in on them so you can see it. It's that sort of black dot that's indicating that there's a change in the geometry somehow. Essentially, that's what a node will identify as a change in the geometry. Now, if I move my cursor uh, over to the line, you'll notice that the cursor changes from this black arrow to a white arrow. That tells me that I'm locked onto this vector line. If I right click, you'll see that there are several options um, that I can use in node editing. And I'm not going to cover all of the options, but uh, really the best thing with node editing is to um, maybe create some sample projects and then really play around with the different functions within node editing to see which ones you're looking for and which ones would work for you. So right now, the one I'm going to select is right up here, is called Insert a Node. And you'll notice as I click on it, if you look at my drawing, now you'll see that there's a new node that has been created. Now with node editing, once I have a vector created or a new node created, you'll see, for example, when I move my cursor over the node, it locks onto the node. And you can see it's changed into a set of crosshairs. If I just grab this, you'll notice that I can manipulate this by basically rotating off of that node. I can do the same thing over here. So I can start to change the configuration of this uh, object or this vector by just manipulating the nodes. I'm going to go in between these two lines here again, uh, or I'm going to lock onto the, um, the vector line again. I'm going to right click. And then this time I'm going to convert the span to a bezier. So what that now has done is, as you can see, is it's created a bit of a different effect. Now as I grab these handlebars, I have the ability to start to manipulate my vector in a very different way. So it, the Bezier basically is the, it's created uh, the ability to, to create curvature into what was previously a straight line. There's a couple of other options uh, that I have in node editing I'd like to show you. I'm going to go over here to this section here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click remove span. And you can see what it did was between the two nodes, it actually removed the span and now if I wanted to, for example, reconnect these two ends together or create some sort of different effect, I have the ability to do that. If I wanted to, for example, I could bring this down a little bit closer and again change the shape of our object by doing that. So that gives you a few examples of the types of uh, functions and features that you can use in node editing. Uh, for more information on node editing, the best option that I can suggest is to kind of experiment, do similar to what you saw me do here, which is create a couple of vectors, and then just using the right mouse click button, just begin to um, manipulate each of the different functions within node editing to find out what that tool can do for you.